Hi! In this tutorial, I will show you three easy and quick back-to-school hairstyles. These styles are great for school, for work, office, gym, anywhere you need a quick and simple look. This is my hairstyle EXO. In this channel, I will show you lots of different braids and hairstyles. Hopefully you will like it. Beginning the first style by creating the part lines. You need the rectangle part from the front of your head. This is for the headband. Secure the rest of the hair back so it won't be on your way. Then I create the diagonal part line to the front which separates this section in two pieces. This is how the part lines should look like. Release the another side and frost it with some water. Take the tiny piece of hair and separate the section in three pieces. Start to pray like a Dutch braid. Bring the hair from side under to the middle. On this braid, I add hair only from the another side of the braid. So bring the right section under, left under, add hair, right under, left under, add hair, right under, left under, add hair. When you add hair, be careful not to add too much hair at the time. A great tip for this is that you can add similar amount of hair which you have in this strand already. So every time when you add hair, you can double the hair in one strand. Keep on braiding until you braided the whole section into this braid. After last addings, keep on braiding until the braid reaches on the back side of your head. At the end, these braids will tie together. Brush now the another side of the hair. Beginning the braiding by taking a small piece of hair, separate the section in three pieces and start the braid again. Create the similar braid as the first one but as a mirror on this time. So left side under, right under, add hair. Left under, right under, add hair. Left under, right under, add hair. Keep on braiding until you have two braids on the same length. At the end, take the both braids and secure them with an elastic on the back side of your head. Then just release the rest of the hair and you're ready. This hairstyle takes in real life about 5 to 7 minutes. Next hairstyle start again with part lines. First, create the middle parting. Then, create the little bit triangle shaped part lines on both sides of your head. Put the rest of the hair away to the back. 
Remember that your part lines doesn't need to be perfect on the first draw. You can correct them as many times as you need to. And this is how the part lines for this hairstyle should look like. Then I start the braid. Cross the section, you start the beginning with water. Then take the section of hair and split the section in two pieces. I create the rope twist braid. So twist the strand to the left and spin to the right. Twist left, spin right. Add hair to the bottom section. Twist left, spin right. Add hair to the bottom. Twist left, spin right. Add hair again. Twist left, spin right. Add hair to the bottom section. Twist left, spin right, add hair, twist left, spin right. Keep on braiding like this until you braided the whole section into this braid. I prayed a little bit extra after the last annex, so the braid will reach better to the top knot. Next, I repeat the same to the another side as the mirror. Take a section of hair, split it in two, and now twist the strand to the right, spin to the left, add hair to the bottom section. Twist right, spin left, add hair to the bottom. Twist right, spin left, add hair to the bottom. Twist right, spin left, add hair. Twist right, spin left. Keep on braiding like this until you've braided the whole section into the braid. Next, I create the top knot. Take both braids and some hair behind the braids. Then take the elastic and secure them together. Then take the ponytail and separate the ponytail in two sections. Create again the rope twist braid. Twist hair to the left and spin to the right. Twist left. Spin right, twist left, spin right. If you want some more volume for your braid, you can pancake the braid. Pull the edge of the stitch out of the braid. But when you're pancaking, be careful not to pull whole section out of the braid, cause in that way braid will be loose and then it will undo easily. Spin the braid around the ponytail. Then secure the bun shape you like with puppy pins. And the second hairstyle is ready. This hairstyle took in real life about 7 to 8 minutes to accomplish. For the third look, I textured my hair a little bit. You can do this also for the straight hair. Start braiding. Take a section of hair 
and separate the sextant in three pieces. Bring the strands from side under to the middle. In this braid, I add hair from the both sides. So right under, add hair. Left under, add hair. Right under, add hair. Left under, add hair. If you want, leave some accent hair out of the braid, do it while you braid. Right under, add hair. Left under, add hair. Right under, add hair. To get more volume for this look, I pancake the braid. Again, when you braid, be careful not to pancake the inside edge of the braid. When the inside stays untouchable, it will keep the braid on tight, and this way the braid will last well. Keep on repeating the same pattern until the braid reaches on the place where you want your ponytail. When you reach the desired length, secure the braid with elastic. You can pancake the braid afterwards more if you like. Next, cross your hair to the ponytail. Next, I create a twist around the ponytail to cover the bubble. I use the topsy tail tool for this. Place the topsy tail through your ponytail. Take a section of hair and spin it around the ponytail. Then pull the hair strand to the topsy tail and pull the topsy tail through your ponytail. At the end, I add a small accent braid to the ponytail. Take a section of hair and separate it in three sections. Start to braid a regular three strand braid. You can bring hair as well from over the middle or under. It's just up to you. I pancake my accent braid as well to create it a little bit more bigger. And here's the final look of this third hairstyle. This hairstyle takes a little bit over 5 minutes to create. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these hairstyles you prefer the most. And if you're going to try them, I would love to know where and when you are going to do that.